I mean, this is probably the most important step you could take out of all three pieces. Yeah, this one has gone viral online. The reviews for this is amazing because unlike other leave-ins, it doesn't weigh down your hair. It's really lightweight. So it contains coconut, organic coconut oil. Here it is again, ylang ylang oils and castor yes. seed. But even though there's oils in there, it doesn't drag it down. It's just beautiful and lightweight. It's soft, it doesn't feel crunchy. You know how sometimes when you put leave-ins in, mm -hmm. it gets oily and crunchy? There's none of that. I'm, I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's just, it just looks like it is light and soft. And that's what you want, right? Not hair that sets and stays still and as soon as the wind catches it, it doesn't look quite right. We want beautiful, healthy hair that you can run your fingers through and that looks lovely in the wind and doesn't need to be perfectly set all the time. Well, and here's the thing. I feel like so many of us style our hair with hot tools to then make it look uniform and generic. And I think with your before, we saw kind of the raw state with the frizziness, the uneven texture when it came to curl, the, the lack of definition of the layers that you have cut in here. And I mean, I just look at you. I want you to know, like, I used to be the shampoo girl. I used to be, also be the gal that would check women out at my mom's hair salon. And everything that you've created not only makes each individual feel unique, but finally appreciative of the strands that they were given. So many of us don't know what to do with that because we use everything that takes away our God-given talent in our hair. And you've put it back in. This is our third and final step. So when you get out of the shower, you've shampooed, you've conditioned. How much leave-in do you use and do you comb it through and how do you wrap? Okay, so I do not use much of this. This stuff is highly concentrated. So I'll show you how much I use on my hair. So basically I will only use about that much on my hair. Now, would you say someone like me would use half? Yes, definitely. That? Okay. Definitely. And what I would do is just focus on the ends. So I tend to go around the edge here where, where I see all my frizz. Mm -hmm. I go along there and then I just work it through the ends. I tend to twist it in a little bit. Okay and uh, rub it in towards the ends, just to, because for me, it's all about my ends. This yeah. is, it's quite obviously older hair. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, the look that you're gonna get from all this hair care isn't about the Hollywood glamour sort of curl. It's more the, the I guess, the Aussie way. We're after the beach wave, yeah. the soft hair, that bedroom sort of hair look, which I think is quite trending. It is trending and I think so many of us don't know that we can have that, which I think is wonderful because the one thing that I really want to stress to you tonight that Again, I, I'm sure if you're at home, you're, you're thinking, how do I wrap my head around this? If you don't like the texture of your hair, you're solving that with shampoo and conditioning, the two most basic steps. But how you're going to then style your hair along with the way that you wrap it to get that look of feeling confident, loving the shine, loving the luster. I mean, because you look at the, even the ends of Tamara's head, and I mean, uniformly, she's got the th same thickness from root to the tips of her hair. That happens here and how you wrap it because you're essentially letting your hair air dry in this wrap form to give you gorgeous, bold looks. So we're gonna have another reveal and then yes. we're gonna show you how to wrap it. Yes, which is very exciting. So first time user um, and after just one wash, softer, uh, a lot more smoother hair, wouldn't you say? So what we've done for this one, just to give you an idea of the difference between blow drying, which, you know, we're not anti the tools, we're just um, saying that this is an option. I mean, I'd love to drink wine and um, eat chocolate every night, but everything in, in moderation, right? Well in everything in moderation. So this side has actually been done with a blow dryer to show you the finish, but still using hot tresses. So shampoo, conditioner and leave-in, and it's a lot softer. We've got, I think we've got some before shots before we actually um, washed her hair and styled her hair using a blow dryer um, with hot tresses. There we go. So already after one wash, you can see a huge difference. But I wanna show you now how it works if the other side isn't blow dried. So all we did was let this air dry and then we've wrapped them up. So this is the three bun. I'll just show you, there's a cute little one hiding at the back. It's so adorable. <laughs> feel like I'm playing mumsies again. It's so cute. And so, by the way, can I, I'm sorry, I have to go back over here. Yes. I have so many questions. Yes. So Come when over. you're pulling this up yep. to do this three bun system, notice how her hair is straight because you've got tension in there with the bun. Yes. So that's going to give you the straightness at the top of the root, which inevitably helps with your frizz. Yes. And with the volume, like yeah. I like, I like that little bit of straightness here and then the curls yes. to start forming around yes. my face. That's everything we dream about here on Beauty IQ. Perfect. So thank you. All right. Perfect. Just wanted to call that out. Great. So I'm just going to unwrap these. 
It's almost like a Christmas present, isn't it? An I early know. one. Just to show you what the curls look like. Now, and she, she can go to bed like this, right? And let it dry overnight. Exactly. So that's what I do. I um, And then I even do the school run with my top bun in mm -hmm. when I choose to do one bun, which makes my hair less curly uh -huh. and more of a straight look. And then I just pull it out. My, my yoga bands, these are fantastic. These are the sort of elastics that you want. They're not going to break the hair and they don't kink. So I just pull that out before I walk into the office and I walk in glamorous. And I've spent five minutes getting ready compared to everyone else there because I had kids to run them. to school. Yeah. All right, let's have a look. So let's have a look at the two different sides. So as you can see here, she's still got that beautiful, can you see the difference how this is more of a beach curl? Yes. As opposed to the other side. So, I mean, I think, well, for me, I like the sort of natural sort of look. So that's what we're going for here is that beautiful beach curl. How does that feel? I love it, it's really smooth. Yeah, nice. I love that you can see even with those light waves, there's still incredible shine. But here's the other part that I do appreciate. A lot of times with blondes, it's hard to see the shine in their hair because when you've had any kind of chemical processing done to enhance blonde, add dimension in there, that is the first thing to go. You get the color, but you're adding in another product. Mm -hmm. If you can't quit the hair dryer, this is what I'm saying to you, or you have an invite where you're like, shoot, I need to shower and get ready in 30 minutes. I love that you see one side of super healthy behaving hair that shines like the goddess that we all feel like. But if you have time to let it set overnight, I love the texture that you created that she wouldn't have otherwise gotten. She would have needed a curling iron, she would have needed a wand, or she would have probably gone to other extreme measures to not get it. But yet you created it with just shampooing and conditioning your hair and a little bit of a leave-in treatment and wrapping your hair up going to bed and waking up to gorgeous hair in the morning. Yep, I mean, you have a look at your photos of your nan when you were younger. You know, they didn't have yeah. the tools then and they would wrap their hair. So what this is, is really talking about a beautiful new gen uh, product that meets uh, old school styling with the wrapping. And, you know, I, I pull out the, the hair dryer and turn it down um, and dry my hair for special occasions. But to be honest, I, I rarely need need to do anything with my hair. It's, it's quite simple. And I've kind of broken the myth that having long hair means high maintenance because it's quite the opposite. Now with our last few minutes, I want you to show us how you wrap your hair and what the difference is going between one, two, and three, and who knows, possibly four. Yeah, certainly. So do you want me to show you the top bun that I do yeah, I'd most love days? To. Yes. And by the way, you called that a yoga band, but would yes. we just call that a scrunchie here in the States? I'm not sure that it's a scrunchie. It's still a band, but yeah, similar. So it, Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it doesn't have any thick elastic in the middle. So Sorry, this is an old one. I, they're on my old faithfuls. So they don't have the elastic in there so they won't break your hair. So you've got to be very careful on what hair ties you use because that can also damage your hair. So, so I'm going to disappear because I'm going to flip my hair over the top and um, that's how I do it. So ready? Disappearing Aussie. All right. I so love that you have so much hair. We're having trouble putting it in the shot. <laughs> I know. I, I was wondering about that. So all I do, as messy as you like. So are you starting to twist from the crown? Yep. Okay, all the way around consistently. And make sure it's right up the top, otherwise it's going to be very uncomfortable to sleep on. Okay. So it's as simple as that. Now I, I would have put the leave in. I usually put a little bit of leave in if I'm up to say day three mm -hmm. and um, it's just to give it a little bit more softness to get me through for a couple of days more but that's all I do and now that if we left that if we had enough time um, in about an hour's time if I let that out you'll notice that my hair will be a different look the style will be straight and more of a wave around my face but not those curls that you saw before okay now what happens when you have two like when you came in dare I say princess Leia style you know, what, ha what does that create when you have two? So when I have the two, it's more for when I part in the middle. So this one I would use more for the flip style yeah. and, and more of a straight. So if I wanted to have more of the, the curl around my face with a part in the middle, then I do the two. So obviously I go to bed looking like Princess Leia. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then is there ever a reason to do three? Because I just want to clarify with our, with our gorgeous model, mm. obviously she had half of her hair dried, but I mean, could you do one here, one here, and then one in the back? 
Well, what I find is that if you have thinner hair, three is the perfect number. And that just adds some more volume at the back, which is really nice. I'm not sure if you saw that on the model, but there was this beautiful volume coming around mm -hmm. the back as well. So mine's obviously a little bit longer, so I tend to use less um, buns. But really, it's totally up to you. There's so many ways to wrap your hair and get great styles. I call it, you can either twist and pin it at the back just to get a nice curl around your face. Yeah. You can scrunch it. I quite often go to the beach. I take my leave-in in my bag with me yeah. and uh, get the sun to do the treatment. And I don't know if you can hear that. There's a bit of a lock. That's actually never going to leak in your bag. That's why it's done. It's a lifestyle brand on the run. So I put that in my hair and I scrunch it. And I can basically go from the beach straight to the bath. Do you just have the lightest weight beauty bag there ever was? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and, and when it's raining, and, and, and. <laughs> now, okay, in particularly humid environments with the ingredients, and I'll kind of just wrap up this with that it is a three-piece system. It's the leave-in, it's the shampoo and conditioner. You talked a lot about, I mean, it's even on your packaging, fighting frizz. Is that, you know, even first, second day, third hair, even with the rain? I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, so I usually take this with me if it does get a little bit rainy. I've noticed the difference in the conditions from going from Australia to here, mm -hmm. that my hair um, obviously got a bit more frizz in it. So I just tend to run that over the ends, put it back in the bun and just tackle the frizz in the same way. So I always have this on hand uh, because that's my little frizz fighter. Um, and you'll find that you won't need much after you've done that first initial one. So just a tiny little bit, just get it, just cover your hands slightly, just go over the edges, pop it back up in the bun and you'll notice that your frizz is completely gone. Would you like me to unwrap one last time? One last time. Okay, let's do this. All right. You know, I just think about... See how that's already taken out a lot of that curl and we've got that I flip mean, look now. Good gracious. It's like you recurl... I mean... I'd say that isn't even fair, but you didn't do anything but wrap it and use your product and put, you know, I often think that when you go to heaven, there will be a list of where you spent your time. And unfortunately for a lot of us, drying your hair, styling your hair, you're thinking that was years of my life. Now we're getting it back, girls, which is so exciting in this three-piece system that's making its brand new debut. And I promise you, all you have to lose is those hot tools and all that time by trying it. Shampoo, conditioner, and the leave-in treatment. Tamara, I gotta tell you, there are very few things in this world of beauty, specifically with hair care, that surprised me in the most wonderful way, and you have done just that tonight. So I'm so Bless. excited thank for you. all of you guys to try it. And thank you so much for coming from Australia Appreciate all the way here. I hope that we get to see you back soon. Oh, I'd love this. You're welcome. All right, beauties, we're gonna take a quick break. When we